there, Michelle Beauchamp here from The Champ Group, where I get a chance to partner with people to help them grow in sales and personal development and in leadership. I'm stopping by for a Champ Chat, and the word today comes from a company called Grow and Prosper. The word that they wanted me to talk about today is empathy. Empathy. Now, Simon Sinek, who is an author of many books and who wrote a book recently called Together is Better, he says that empathy is the number one leadership trait in the toolbox. Empathy, the number one trait. It starts by being really easy. We can ask somebody how they're doing. But when we ask someone how, we're do- how they're doing, we must stop and listen. Now, if you happen to hear my champ chat about listening, you might recall that the ultimate level of listening was empathetic. And so as a person who shows empathy, we start by saying, how are you? But not just continuing to go or continuing to talk about how we're doing, but really stopping and listening to how they're doing. Empathy is defined as the psychological identification with vicarious experiences. The psychological identification with vicarious experiences in thought, feeling, and attitude. So vicarious, I mean, we have to really, we're really present. In other words, walk in their shoes. It reminds me of when I was a sales leader. And, you know, sometimes we'd have these days where we do dial, dial, dial and smile. So it w- the goal for two hours would be to call prospects, call clients, check in. And I remember one time I was in my office and one of my salespeople popped in and was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm making calls. In other words, how can I understand and empathize with frustrations that they might have and exhilaration that they might feel if I'm not doing it too? So empathy. Now, it has to do with the brain, and I'm no scientist, but what I do know is that there are hormones that help us have different reactions. So oxytocin is the hormone that helps us to have trust and empathy. So we want to make sure we know how to maximize that. So you've heard the statement. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But it's a statement that I actually love and use a lot. And it goes like this. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I've seen that credited to Mary Kay, Theodore Roosevelt, Zig Ziglar. So, you know, lots of people, lots of leaders who we follow and who have been very influential in our lives, in my life. So let's remember that as we get out of this situation that we're in and as we move forward, always let's agree that we all show more empathy. And I look forward to hearing from you. Send me some information. What one word can you have or one phrase that you'd like for me to chat about at a future chat chat? Meanwhile, link in with me or message me on LinkedIn. Let me know how you're liking these. Reply back to this information and and, and check out my Facebook page. So Michelle Beauchamp with the Champ Group. I can't wait to see you again. You know what I want you to do? I want you to master your mind and unleash your inner champ. And until I see you again, you take care.